Hi, I'm Rick Keener, Professor of Chemistry and a Professor of Materials Science and Engineering at UCLA. And I'm here today to tell you about our work on old carbon-based supercapacitors. We start with an ordinary compact disc. We put a sheet of plastic on it. We coat it with graphite oxide, an inexpensive precursor to carbon-based materials. We can then, on a computer, draw designs. We can put it in a disk drive, and using a laser scribe device, we hit it with an inexpensive infrared laser, and we can make a pattern. And so, for example, after we make the pattern, if I open up the disk drive, we'll see our ordinary compact disk. We'll see our plastic coating and the pattern that we've designed. We'll simply peel off the plastic, and you can see here the nice golden brown material is the graphite oxide, and where it's been hit with the laser, it's turned into graphene. And if I take this material and I turn it around and we compare it to the pattern here, you'll notice that we've reproduced the pattern quite precisely. We can do this with thin materials or we can do it with thicker materials. And so, for example, here's a thicker coating of our graphite oxide that's been laser scribed and turned into graphene. We can take this then and just cut it with the scissors and we can make different devices. And one of the devices that we've made is a supercapacitor. It's a flexible, all-plastic-based supercapacitor. It's just two pieces put together with a little electrolyte. You can see it's completely flexible. And what's nice about this material, unlike conventional supercapacitors, which can be charged and discharged quickly but don't store much energy, this stores as much energy as a conventional battery. Yet it can be discharged or charged 100 to 1,000 times faster than an ordinary battery. So for example, charging this up for two seconds, we can run a light emitting diode for five minutes or so. Thank you.